we need a break because it has been it's been hard grocery shopping um gas especially when you travel with kids in college you have to go visit them and it's not easy and hitting virtually everybody a bit of sticker shock for many cook county residents getting their property tax bills this fall a report from the cook county treasurer's office found the median tax bill for homeowners in the north and northwest suburbs jumped nearly 16 percent and that is the largest increase in three decades. And Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas is joining us now to sort of take the heat and explain uh, what is happening here. This has been a big issue that I, I'm sure you're getting a lot of questions these days. Well, we're getting lots of questions, but what we do, we sort of jump the gun and we put out a 30-page report, what you can get to on mm -hmm. cookcountytreasure.com. Okay, this is your third report that you've this put out. This is my out. third report, w right. What is in it and how does it help us? This report tells everyone why and where their taxes went up. So the first thing it does, it says, look, the amount of money that the 900 governments came in and requested this year was 900 million more than last year. So there are actually 926 some odd agencies or governments in Cook County and 71%, almost 75% of them raised the amount of money that they want okay. by almost a billion dollars. That's that's the why, but why are we in that situation okay. that is going to you know, be a, a difficulty for so many? You know, we're in that situation because what we've seen is that anywhere between 55% and 83% of anyone's bill goes for the school systems in their areas. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to get to cookcountytreasure.com. You're going to download this bill. This bill you're actually not getting in the mail until next week. But if you go to cookcountytreasure.com, put in your address, you'll see a picture of your house. You can download it. So this bill right here shows where's the money going to. This is a Barrington bill, and it shows that in Barrington, mm -hmm. homeowners are paying 77% of their bill for one, two, three, four different school districts hmm. up there. So every bill does that. You're going to say to me, you know what? I mean, people are angry. Right, they're angry. They're angry about the war, the, the two wars that are going on. They're angry about crime. They're angry about migrants. And now they get this, hmm. they're really angry. Well, this so what affects can you their do? ability to take care of their families, right? And so... What can they do? Yeah. Okay, so on this bill, well-kept secret, there's $138 million sitting in my office. There's two ways to find out if you're one of those people who gets it. One is, get to cookcountytreasure.com. There's a grid there. It says homeowner, senior, senior freeze. Homeowner, you lived in the house for over a year. Senior, you're over 65. And senior freeze, you're over 65 and making under $65,000 a year. Mm -hmm. We go back four years. If you qualify any of those particular years for any of these particular exemptions, it's worth 500 a year. So there are many people in Cook County, because I'm sitting on $138 million, that I owe $6,000 to. Get to the site, punch, apply here, we give you your money back in four to six okay. weeks. But there's an additional aspect to this. We also, every time that there is a tax run, this is a tax run, payable December 1st, people overpay. They overpay every tax run by at least $38 million. The husband pays, the wife pays, the mortgage company pays, the homeowner pays. If you did a refinancing, both home, both mortgage companies repay. This site, cookcountytreasure.com, will tell you if you've overpaid and how to get your money okay, back. Okay, overpaid, is, is that what led to the, the issue that we're facing now? Because this is a, a once in a generation increase. Uh, does it have to do with people uh, getting uh, um, you know, rebates? Uh, when they reassess their property and, and now the schools are recapturing that or is some something of it, else? Some of it is recapture. Some of it is recapture. It's, uh, uh, Pandemic? When, well, there are a number. This is like the perfect storm. A bunch of things happened. The levies went up in school districts because, because of laws created in Springfield. They're allowed, school districts are allowed to raise the taxes to the rate of inflation. So mm -hmm. that went up. Another thing is the COVID adjustment where everybody was reduced somewhat their taxes. That formula expired because there's no more COVID. And you've got a serious, serious problem with commercial properties. You now have all these commercial properties drive down any street, maybe two out of four 
in every commercial area is empty. So they're going down in value. So they're that going puts down. the burden on the, on the residents. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what happened. And commercial, if something goes down, something must go up. Mm -hmm. So in this instance, if commercial had several vacancies, then residences went up, which is what happened here. I can hear people saying, I need to scramble now to try to, um, to challenge the assessment of my home. It's too late for this cycle, right? Yeah, this cycle, it's gone. So outside They're reassessing of right now the south suburbs, so you'll have the opportunity to do it there. Every three years, you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to do it. South suburbs are looking at, uh, in south side of Chicago, 4% increase on average, 5.5% throughout the state here. But why so high in the northern and northwest sections of the city and suburbs? Because the schools went up so much, and the government's requested another $390 million. So someone comes in and says, hey, says to the clerk, we need an extra $390 million. It's got to get divided up somehow. So it's either residences or commercial. If commercial's unrented, it falls on the residences. And the way to find out where it's going is to go to this bill. You can download it mm. online, and you can see where it went to. Uh, bills, <laughs> bills due December 1st. December 1st, you can pay online if you want to. I'll tell you something really interesting. Thousands of people have already paid. Okay. Treasurer <laughs> Maria Pappas, thanks for giving us the explanation, and we know you're going to be talking about this a lot more in the next few weeks. We appreciate it. Okay. Always good to be here. All right. You too. I hope that jacket's warm enough for you outside. It it's is getting just cold great. Out there. This is my, you know, <laughs> my, my Western jacket. How's it? it? My it Western works. jacket. It's, it's, it's got the flair. It's got the flair. All right.